really neat combo that I didn't actually know about too much. Thank you, Zai, for <clears throat> giving me that update the other day about the night vision from Tombstone. It's very useful to get glimpses off for the fights. So we are thinking core test, and that's core oh, die. It will be like to it'll be Tusk and dying aggro dual lane probably, won't it? And then disruptor with someone down safe. So oh, Lich, they're trying to respond to that aggressing aggression from the fanatic opener, the lane dominance. L Lich will be able to part that up. I think that might be because of the bounty nerf too. They're trying to just use the Lich Ten to get that high levels. Remaining. Yeah. And Veno Lich defending towers. So I think Mineski's gonna draft some very Five hard late game hero remaining. after this. You know what's really interesting when we see the when we see the draft. We talked about a little bit beforehand before the game started that Fnatic was a team that yesterday took things more slow. Mineski was the thing that push the tempo real high, and it feels like the drafts are reversed here, trying to achieve yeah, the... Yeah, I agree. Radiant the opposite. As the Death Drop yeah. gets picked up, more pressure coming out from Fnatic. I really like Death Prophet as a hero. They have they have the save from Tusk for the Death Prophet as well, which would be really nice, the snowball, and uh, Undying applies the heals. It can make up for a very nice remaining. Death Ball kind of strategy for Fnatic, but Disruptor is a little bit... Different. I guess they want to have Five just some catch because they were lacking catch with Undying. I think that's one of the crucial things. Whenever you have Undying, you have to pick heroes that can actually grab people and lock them down. Hmm. How does Mineski want to respond? I did not expect to see Veno being picked up this early on, especially after you know the changes to Veno. Nerfed quite hard, losing the experience talent. Gale being able to get removed but will fit for their game plan, having with the Earth Spirit. That DOT damage in the fights, very obnoxious. Nope. By the way, we still have Templar Assassin in the pool, just in case. Pretty hard TA game. Yeah, yeah well, I mean, picked against the DP. Yeah, you don't pick nah. it like, versus Death Prophet too much. But there's a Lich. There is a Lich. There is a Venom. Fanatics. And there Turn is a Tiny. Tiny. Still gonna grab the tiny. Okay, so we'll be at least we'll get to see it in action. It got changed as we mentioned in the uh, pre-show. Yeah. You get more tree charges. You get five at the start, but it is less damage, and your grow does not apply movement speed anymore. It gives you five, ten, ten fifteen armor remaining. per level, and the damage is changed as well. So you do one hundred twenty percent damage remaining. to buildings. So he is a pretty big building crusher. Yeah. At the later stage. Of the game. Well, what lanes do you think? Do you think it was gonna be what Daryl Tiny? Up top, and what with the air spirit putting on pressure, and then the Venno Lich save play. I wouldn't be surprised. I feel like Tiny is a very Daryl hero. Yeah. Oh, we saw him do it yesterday. We saw him play yeah. it too. And I mean, especially with the changes where I'll be playing remaining. it in position one's a little harder. Yeah. Hmm. The move speed nerfs. Five seconds remaining. The last and pick this game goes the way of. Um, by Fnatic, by the way, in case you didn't oh, yeah. that one. Pick. And then Gyro Copter was banned by Mineski. As we did see Envy play Gyro, and it fits the pace of their game too. With the Death Prophet, they need some kind of like later game kind of carry that also just can team fight really well. I feel like uh, Mineski is, at a, is having a, a very responsive draft of Fnatic. Ten seconds yeah. remaining. I'm and like, I don't liking, think that's a good thing. I'm liking what Fnatic's got going too. so far. Even though they've got Five Undying, and we've seen Undying, remaining. I think, lose every single game. Yeah, most of them for sure. Yeah. But I've been I've been liking Death Prophet a lot, especially too. I saw Navi absolutely crushing with Death Prophet. All their games they played it in this qualifier. I think they won three out of three. Death Prophet. Well, let's see what the last pick of Mineski is. Maybe you can tell us a little bit more about where everybody's gonna go with their lanes. They're very low on time. They are. Oh, either they run the Venom mid. Oh, they pick. Okay, so that's, Mirana. That'll be mid by it. That'll be in the mid. That's yep. Moon. That's Moon's hero. Or yeah. Nana. Nana heroes. That means that probably Mushi is gonna play the Veno and then Tiny for Ice, 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 Ice. Yes. Yep. That's what I had down. That was one too many ice. I heard it. Know. Okay. No <laughs> Ten else. seconds remaining. The more ice, the better, ready. right? More ice is better. Five seconds remaining. Okay. Last pick for Fnatic. Looking for an Envy hero. Uh, well, Terrorblade is still in the pool. Not great against Tiny, though. You don't think so? Not great against Tiny Mirana. It's a pretty nasty game for a Terrorblade. I mean, you, you know, it's MB, you can still play it. They've only got, like, hood, but... they don't have, like, a crazy amount of stuns for him, though. It's, like, Tiny and Earth Spirit, so he can mostly get the Thunder off. And they've got the same yeah. Tusk, too. 
I don't know, I think it'd be hard. But I mean, uh, it's MV. If he wants to play TB, he's going to play TB. That's true. What do you reckon? What could you see here? I don't think Wales was seen MV play recently. Good. Uh, so they, if they want to go for some kind of late game, they're still like Slark. I don't know if they want to do that, Bristus, but it can remove the Venomancer spells. It can remove the Earth Spirit as well. I know they like the hero. And oh, yeah, it was a promised Slark. We were prom I just, I kind of just want Slark, to be honest. So that's maybe a little... Uh... Now that we mentioned him, it's not going to come, though. Yeah. Dings. What else? Uh, maybe Life Stealer could be decent. Yeah, Life Stealer still there, isn't he? Yeah. Pretty strong versus Tiny. Now you cannot, yeah, toss, uh, you cannot toss magic immune targets away anymore. You can get in with the Tusk as well. You can get in with the Tusk. Life Stealer or uh, Jug could be nice, but I don't think... I think Tyro is the more, most likely here, although just, we saw it yesterday. I think it's going to be a hard game it. for the TV. Yeah. I mean, you can try it, but I think it'll be hard. Ooh. Oh, Tasteless oh. Void. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. I mean... Pick him up. Uh, it makes me, it makes me feel that Fnatic, if they don't have the exorcism up, they they're going to be lacking a bit of damage. Yeah, I was they, about to say the same thing. Yeah. Too. Like, where's the damage? I mean, sure, when Envy gets a few items down the line, but before that point, if they don't have Ghost up, I'm, I don't think they can take a fight against this tiny Mirana. Yeah, I'm not I, I'm not yeah. too crazy about the Void. No, I, I don't really like Void safe lane either. All right, GG one zero Benesky. There we go. Hmm. Job on. How one pick changes the entire outcome of the draft. Maybe. Yeah. Owen, you were up first. You said GG Mineski. Yeah, I don't really like. I mean, I, I like to like to see the void, and it is an MV void, so we'll have Ten some pog champs, we'll remaining. have some lulls and jabateds. But uh, in terms of damage, Five I mean, they've got a lot of control with the, the disruptor tusk and void. But uh, until the later portions, the void ain't gonna offer much damage. As I say, if they don't have the ghost up. I think it's going to be hard to bite through sort of all this frost armor they're going to have and uh, the, 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 the low cooldown burst potential of the Tiny and Mirana. All right, Mineski for you. What's... I really like Mineski's draft in comparison, yeah. I think Fnatic oh. is very dependent on their two big ultimates on the Chrono and the mm. Death Prophet, while Mineski can actually just be much faster paced, and I think that's that's a big indication of this right. patch. I'm going for Mineski as well, but I do think that it's still very even. Even, like, we are all going for Mineski, but... Uh... Fnatic definitely has a good shot here. Let's find out who's going to take this first game with our commentators, Luminous and Charlie Yang. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the casting booth. I am Lumi, the good cop. And joining me is Charlie, the bad cop. <laughs> Welcome to the show. We got Mineski Hello. versus Fnatic, and this is going to be the winner finals of the, uh, the Dream League C qualifiers. Yeah. We got for Charlie. Got a smoke out right now. You have a favorite for these two teams uh, based, on, based on the draft? I actually don't think it's as bad for Fnatic as the panel made it out to be. Um, I think Isis is probably going to have a pretty hard time up top. It's a melee core against Undying. If the Undying starts there. I think the Undying might be helping out their lanes. So that, that's, uh, that's the thing. But I do agree. One thing I do agree with the panel is that Fnatic does have some long cooldown. So if they don't get a lot of things done with that Chrono slash Exorcism, they might lose a lot of ground. I'm actually also really looking forward to this Tusk offlane. I haven't seen it a lot myself. But I'm wondering what item he'll go for. It looks like he's got Phase Boots and Soul Ring queued up. Yeah, this is very different. I don't remember the last time we saw something like this. He does have some uh, really good talents for a uh, core. If you get actually get to 20 and 25, you you have some lousy carry talents. Begins. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Got the the walrus punch deep. I mean, this is what uh, pups try to do every day. So, and it rarely works. I don't think it's gonna work here, mostly just because I think like void and death prophet are gonna eat up a lot of space on the on the map. Yeah. Yeah, on the fair. map. So this is kind of what we talked about on the panel, right? Where we have the what's happening what's happening okay, okay. All, right. all right blame charlie was well, not me didn't come from me all right i still hear us while we have some technical difficulties Wait, i think we're good all right let's let's just cast <laughs> All right, uh, I forgot what we're talking about. No, we're not good yet. 
All right, I muted you, Charlie. That's All right, it was definitely do. Lumi's fault. I didn't even. Yeah, it was definitely Lumi's fault. Anyways, all right, so we we actually have uh, a Lich Tiny lane up here. It's definitely not solo Tiny, which I think the Tiny would have had a lot of problems. And now this looks a lot better for Mineski. I actually think the Void has problems, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Because this Ruptor is a pretty weak laner. I think the Undying actually needs to go top at this point because you can't you can't just sack the Void and you can't let Ice Ice Ice. Basically, have a free lane. He's six and three right now. Yeah. The void is two and one. The thing is that if Undying leave bottom, then I'm not sure if Ohio could actually lane against Venom. Well, Venom, one Gale, then he's kind of in trouble as well. I mean, Ohio can at least get farm. Like right now, I'll tell you right now, Eternal Envy can definitely not lane against them. I mean, Eternal Envy is a catch up player, right? Okay, okay. <laughs> Alright, yeah, but as I said, he's actually using his tree to find quite a lot, a lot of creeps. Bottom lane here, a couple of nukes being flied out, but for the most part, no kills just yet. And we do expect not too many hero rotations, right, with with girls like Lich. Likely Yeah, yeah, we might. Oh, DJ's there you go. Thought jab got the roll on, and uh, Ohio might might be in a little bit of trouble. Gale's actually gonna miss. He dodges it with the snowball, anyways. DJ also getting very low there, but it gives at least some time to, I guess, sort of catch up. I don't know, man. Instead of uh, pulling a hero into his lane, they pulled the hero away from his lane, so he's now one v two against a, a tiny lich. And the Italian Lich is uh, attempting to make pulls and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure about this, uh, the, the way that Fnatic has laned it. Because you also got to keep in mind that neither of these core heroes could, able to, uh, could jungle or anything, so they, they can't catch up. I think the other thing that we haven't talked about right now is that the Marana is actually doing, like a, I'd say, a fair amount better than Abed did right now. The 18 and 3 to the 12 and 2. Yep. I bet we'll be able to catch up once Crypt Swarm is maxed out. But, you're definitely right. Uh, Marana is the hero that needs a little bit of uh, a while before she gets going, but she's definitely having a good start. So I think a lot of the, the weight on this game is on Ohio's shoulder, right? Because he's really the only core the only hero that can actually use this kind of stay there. Yep. Good stuff on the bottom side. And this is how I feel like you have to use Undying. If you're going to draft it, you attack. want somebody that can bring the Undying into fights. Husk is the perfect hero to do that. So so many times you just pop down and stone or don't do anything. Highlight Die is going to get rolled on here. There's going to be a fight for that bounty room. Highlight Die going to be relatively tanky. Does have two points in the story. The case coming off cooldown as well. Nice position here by the Mineski heroes. The 9 to 2 man decay. Pi is still very, very low. Poison taking him down. And Japs is staying around. I think looking for a roll kill. But here comes Ohio. Nice roll back in. And that's going to be a kill. Japs will get rolled on as well. But Ohio missing the shards. Not sure how many times he practiced this hero. But that might have been a kill. He does, he does have face boost now finished. On the Ohio. That's like one of those shards that people throw when you feel like do you did you not realize the the change in casting tusk shards now yeah they, they changed it i think a while back but i remember when once that change first came out a lot of players messed that up yeah. I, I i do see players still mess it up because how often do you play tusk right yeah no points into frozen stitches just yet it's going to be a valuable tool down the line against uh, the marana but right now it's all about the spell damage and Mushi can, can get killed very easily. Top lane, Envy dropping very low. Time walk on cooldown, but I think it'll be okay. He's getting pushed real hard right now. He doesn't really. Ha you mentioned that Envy is a catch up player, but he does not have a catch up mechanism. What is Void is going to flash farm with with what? I was also kind of kidding when Envy's a catch up player because <laughs> he'll go to the side lane and then just die when he. I don't know how much catch up he'll be doing. He's gonna buy a Midas and catch up. Go Midas Mom. Battle Fury. Well, he is uh, gonna need his teammates to bail him out a little bit. As far 
away from that one kill on Mushi, this this laning stage is not going very well for Fnatic right now. And like the panel said, they like they are very reliant on long cooldowns. And usually in lineups like that, you want to come out ahead on the laning stage so you can dictate the pace of the game. Oh, Mushi on the bottom side got started up here, and now they're going to tower dive. Tombstone's going to break the trees on the back line. Mushi taking quite a bit of hits here. They're going to try and take down Tombstone. Snowball, double snowball coming in, and here comes a bet on the back line, popping that exorcism. Jabs is going to try to row out. No! Nice block here from Ohio. Double kill on the bed. Tower not going to kill Ohio either. Poison take the last tick. Not going to take him down. And of course, Abed seeing that new glyph animation. They try to take down the bottom tower. Envy rotating now to the mid lane to get a little bit of. Uh, but that was uh, a pretty good stuff here from Fnatic. Yeah, this is a really smart rotation by Abed. Radiance bottom tower has fallen. This is definitely what they needed. They want to be the ones setting the pace of the game because if they let Mineski set the pace, that pace is going to be faster than what Fnatic is ready for. Yeah. Oh, I think you were talking about uh, Tombstone uh, being pretty decent this game. Not only do they have the... Okay, should be fine here. Say that Ice 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 is not oh, secured no. by the tower. Toss away, away from the tower. Ninja's gonna have to frost. Nova, DJ trying to run for his life. Spend all your gold, DJ! Alright, he does and he does die. But, uh, as I was trying to say, I, they have Tombstone. Or sorry, they have Chronosphere and the Ice Shards to set up Tombstone. So I think we're going to see Ian dying putting a, in much more work uh, than, than usual. Attack. Yeah, I do like it a lot better this game. Do you know what the collision speed is like for the zombies? Collision speed? Or not collision speed, like just collision size. Oh, they can still block you, right? I'm not sure. I've, I've never really gotten blocked by it. By zombies myself, though, I, I, can't, I can't say for sure. I've definitely got hunted down by a 20 zombie. I, I, that's definitely happened to me as well. In the river. It's like Jabs might get caught out here, too, still. Nice to silence. Jabs going to roll himself out of there, TP out. He's going to make it out. Yeah. Good stuff. Jabs been doing a very good job uh, stealing runes nonstop. They're not as value anymore, though. I think that really hurts Roamers like the Earth Spirit. Yep. Got Ohio being gone on on the bottom right now. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. So I'm curious to see what the effect of this Tusk is gonna have. Like I, I'm so far comparing him to something like a Clockwork, right? Once you get to level six, you have a lot of kill potential. At the same time, I think Tusk scales much better than a Clockwork in terms of what you get from the off lane. Sure. He also has uh, an interesting save with the snowball. Can dodge a few spells this game, actually. I mean, even just delaying the, the poison ticks from, let's say, the Venom ult, they'll save you a couple hundred points of health. Of course, if you dodge that Chain Frost, that is uh, some nice stuff. Envy on the top lane. The only level 5. Here comes Ohio. Ice Shard will give vision for the row if he wants Dyer's to go for it, but. He doesn't have any follow up right now. This is just trying to get them off the tower. And Envy is going to TP to the bottom lane, trying to see us up. So poor right now. Yeah, they're going to give up the tower completely. Meanwhile, Fnatic on the mid lane sets up a smoke gank, and they are running down to the river. It looks like they want to get Mushi again. The Venom Core used to be very strong, but now that they removed the experience gain on level 10, I think he is much more susceptible to these ganks. He used to be able to catch right back up on the But now. So good. Do they have detection? The four-man gank, if they don't have detection, this is going to be really silly. Mushi's going to just walk out of this gank. He needs to go on the right side, but Abed, the sniper. DJ might die. Did die? Yeah. Jesus, Abed. All right, I'm solo carrying this one right now. Oh, and Pai gets taken down. It's not over yet. Moon fires an arrow to the right side. Not going to catch anybody, but he does have a haste and leaps win one for Abed. Abed's going to grab off a little bit of HP from Moon. Now the toss in the truck. Not gonna be enough to squish a bed. And then we still level five. No turn. Uh, no no ability to counterplay. If I'm fanatic, I'm not really happy with that gank. Like you don't want to be smoking the gank of Venomancer down there. Like it, it's it's not a 
incredibly high value target. He's the lowest net worth core on the side of Mineski right now. Like you want to go for the tiny or the or the Marana. Yeah. I guess because we have the disruptor, even the Marana will be a fairly easy kill. The triple lip won't be too helpful against the limp static storm. So I, I definitely agree with your point there. Well, DJ just hit six, so they can go off and do that now. Yeah. Highlight that, gonna get caught. Silence gonna be on top of him. So Earth himself, Tombstone's gonna get dropped down. to as well, he's very tanky. He'll die here. Where's the TP support? Here comes Ohio on the right side. They're gonna punch him up, and Mushi dies another time. I am I am very worried about Mushi's ability to stay in this game, though. I think it's okay. I mean, the Static Storm is used. You got a trade-off kill. It's I mean, it is a core for a support, but you drew three heroes to you. Meanwhile, I don't think Mushi is going to be playing well, the one position here. Yeah, that's going to be me for sure. Speaking of one position, Envy, let's queue up that uh, MOM like you mentioned. He is a... I mean, this is like the... Halfway there. This is like the perfect anime show, right? You know, when, when the anime begins, the character is weak as fuck, right? And then slowly over time, through multiple rigorous trainings, but by hitting hitting the creeps in the jungle, yeah, slowly levels up. That's how you do it. But you know, you know the difference is, is that in animes, like the big boss sort of just like waits and lets you build up your your power level. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mineski is not gonna wait here. They waiting. They're, they're not gonna wait. These yeah. guys are gonna take the fight to them. They're not gonna give Envy the time to slowly level up. Oh, that's when the bad guy comes to destroy your city, and then your your anime character levels up like five times. No, that's that's, that's, that's what we call not plot what, armor. what kind of what kind of animes are you watching? Every anime. You don't get experience for getting your city destroyed. That's when you like. It makes you it. super angry, and then you yell louder, and then you level up. Yeah, but no, you don't level up, man. You just get like some motivation bonus. I think between you and I, Charlie, I'm more of the uh, the anime expert. I have to say myself. Can't dispute you there. <laughs> I can't dispute you there. <laughs> All right, mid towers in deny range. Uh, fanatic not going for the deny just yet. Not sure why. Radiant Maybe they haven't realized it. Um, I mean, I think it, it's still a, a really key point, key place, right? They, if anything, they'd like to bait it out. Maybe force. Force um, the fight there and then yeah. keep it. It's not like it's like one hit away. Or anything. It's not like. Mineski can just go in and spit. Mineski did fire off a scan into the dire jungle. It did clip a couple of heroes. And I think that's why that they're playing relatively defensive right now. I would like the I would like to see Mineski actually take that tower though. Dyer's it is a very free oh. Free beat. Ah Dyer's there you go. DJ comes in with a clutch deny. That's okay. I think the map control is more important for Mineski anyways. Yeah. So I keep hearing this like, you know, the, the big boss is going to come to you. It's not going to give you time. Hanno talked about the high tempo. When do you think Mineski is going to start doing stuff? Because well, right now, I think if you're a fanatic, you're okay with how the pacing of the game is going. Well, they're doing stuff right now. You see three heroes smoked up bottom. I think they, they want to take all these other tier ones and then start applying pressure. Okay. Like right now, uh, all the big ults from Fnatic are still up. So you don't want to go for an incredibly obvious team fight. Wemby, they're going to get vision on him, but it's going to be a bit on the left side. If they could chase on him and blow him up, that will be the target that deals the most damage. DJ drops sentry as well. And here comes the team fight. Nice two man style with Chain Frost. Gonna get bounced left and right. Good toss here. Right back into the Chain Frost. Abed taking a ton of that damage. They bring him down. And now without Abed, there is no damage from this team fight. Tombstone's gonna get cleaned up. And Mineski wins a clean 2 0 fight. I believe Exorcism wasn't used, but he will still have that for the defense. Chrono Spear was used though. Yeah. Here comes that cliff. You gotta keep in mind that with the max uh, tree grab. Now deals 120% to building. That building's gonna get chopped down very quickly. And Charlie, as we predicted, once the tier ones are going down, Mineski is ramping up the pressure. Also on the top lane simultaneously, Mushi has been sieging the tier two. This is the very classic Venno, I live in your off lane now. If you're gonna commit resources to gank me, I will unleash my Ebola upon you. So yeah. it's 
It's also this... like a like a pretty emo hero if you ask me. It's like IDC. Like, who cares? Here, nice kick. Not gonna actually connect on Ohio. Ohio moving very quickly with phase as well as drums. He's getting all the right fighting items, but can't really take the fight by himself. The big boss is destroying your city right now. <laughs> is, is Ice 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 the big boss? Ice 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 is definitely the big boss. Or is he like the... You know how like in, in Power Rangers, the bad guy is like the boss and he has a whole bunch of minions, right? Yeah. Are you saying Ice 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 is a minion? No, he's the boss. Yeah. Everyone else is the minion. Everyone else on his team. He's just tossing them in. No, like he, he's the most, uh, he's the scariest one. And everyone else is like, essential. Sure. Sure. Ohio. Oh god. Ava off on the bottom side. Arrow not gonna connect. And Ohio's gonna have to run. Leap. Gonna be a kill. Yeah. So far, this uh, Tusk not working out. I think at this point we got a, we got 20 seconds to Chronosphere. You once that's up, I expect Fnatic should want to do something, with, do it. something with it, right? But here's the thing, right? If you let's say you go for a smoke gank with Exorcism and Chrono, you use both. Maybe you get two kills. You have to take an objective as well. Yeah, you have to take an objective because if you don't, I I, I can see Mineski just go into the rope immediately. A bed. He's gonna find Mushi on the top side. Moonlight Shadow's gonna be there in TP's out. Snowball and Glyph. Both gonna get used. That was a three man, four man rotation. But, uh. I Mushi's him. okay with that. Yeah, I don't think they care actually. Like, that, that's definitely an IDC death. You baited out the exorcism. Um. That's four heroes rotate. Like, well, what can Fnatic do now? Like. No, no, no exorcism. No. They're gonna go into Roshi. They will use the exorcism here. I like this a lot. And they, they will they will still save the chrono. That's true, that's true. Yeah. This is actually one of the, the best things you can do. This stuff scan is gonna fly out. I think that was a fanatic scan. And I wouldn't say this gets them right back in the game, but it's, it buys them time. Yeah. It definitely buys them time. But if if I'm Mineski right now, uh, I'm gonna go look for a fight. Okay. Because who took the like Death Prophet took the, the Aegis. Yep. There's no exorcism right now. Um, kill her once, you're probably gonna kill her again. And Envy does no damage right now. Well, let's look on the brighter side of things for Fnatic. When do you think it's gonna be starting to look good for Fnatic? Like, give me a time frame. Is it gonna be 30 minutes in the game that they're gonna start to turn things around? I'd say when Envy needs both a damage item and something that gives him a little more survivability. Okay, he's keying up the Shadow Blade right now. Are you maybe thinking like Shadow Blade BKB is when he's ready to go, or? I don't know if BKB is the right item. I guess BKB is the right item. It's like a ton of damage, but as I say that, Pylai Dye gets taken down. Um, but BKB... There is a lot of magic damage, but... Yeah. My, my, my worry is is that um, it doesn't really solve all of there, There's definitely a lot of problems. Well, Ohio picks up the Blink Dagger. So you see support, Tusk picks up Blink pretty frequently. And what that allows them to do is when somebody gets focused, he gets the Blink next to them and Snowball saves. But this also doubles up as a pretty effective split pushing tool. But right now, the, the big boss is outside your base. And Ice 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 is... Uh, Hammering down your buildings pretty fast. And I think this game gets truly difficult to play for Fnatic once you lose your tier 2. Radiant it feels pretty impossible at that point. Because even if, uh, at this point, after all your tier 2s get taken, Mineski is basically going to live on Fnatic's side in their jungle. Even if Fnatic tries to go out and take a fight on that side, they're going to have to blow all their, their cooldowns for it. At that point, top tower is under attack. Mineski can just do the same thing again, and then you don't have your big ultimate. Fnatic then will get their high ground tested, I imagine. Two tier two, still standing. I think Fnatic still has at least maybe five or six minutes before 
Mineski attempts to do high ground. Assuming they don't blow their ult. If they blow their ult, that's an invitation to the high ground. Or sure. Uh, in that tier assuming tier. nothing disastrous happens. Right. Could this be the beginning of something happening on the bottom side? Fnatic grouped up us four. They have a bet. They don't have the Envy. Chrono here. Envy's just actually just catching up. So this is a four-man push into the five-man defense. They're gonna pop the extra but they want to fight this. Blinking in is a bed, a bed going for a kill on Marana, and they will find it. Key pick off here, and now Snowball going right in into a tiny. And now there's a buyback from Marana that's gonna be back time. But that Team Frost can do so much work. The three calls as well going right in. Envy's back in the fight right now. They see Mushi. They will take down Mushi. Chronosphere is going to find two. Looking pretty good. A best still alive. He will die down. The Exorcism will end. Ice 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 dropping low, but turns around with the Atos. Envy will go down. And now Abed surrounded from all sides. Can he take down Ice 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 at the very least? They don't. They blow everything. Chronosphere down. Exorcism down. Aegis down. And all they got was a Veno and a buyback on Murana. And the Murana kill itself. I don't think that's enough. I okay. There, there's so many issues with with that fight. At the beginning, they took that fight. Envy's busy farming neutrals. He comes into the fight. Gets silenced. Like just he, he gets hit in the AOE of the silence from the uh, from the Earth Spirit when he was shadow bladed. Couldn't initiate immediately. And like the uh, Venomancer ult and the Chain Frost did so much collateral damage that after a while it was just. Fnatic didn't have the, the follow-up. Yep. Now Fnatic needs to take a fight without the two big ults. They will find the Lich on the right side. Can they blow him up? Ninja Boogie, relatively tanky with the Frost Armor, but will get surrounded by the Ice Shards. They do take one down, and now Ice 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 will get earned up. They're going to try to take him down, Ice Ice Ice. No TP, TP in backpack. They will see him, Envy. Lucky like he bashes. No detection either here from any of yours. They do have one sentry, but I'm not sure whether they're going to chase. Fnatic will delay the push though with the Lich kill, so that's not the worst. It's, it's definitely something. Uh, at this point, if I'm Mineski, I want to, I guess, get control of the Fnatic jungle, and then when Roshan respawns, get in position to take it. I mean, I, I actually think it's, again, okay for Fnatic for the next couple of minutes, because that was their window, right, for Mineski. Fnatic used both their big cooldowns, and then Mineski tried to push. And then one of them got caught out. Why did Abed use his exorcism? He misclicked? He's just farming neutrals right now with exorcism. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess they don't know that you're farming neutrals with exorcism. But... It's a efficiency right now. Uh, yeah. I'm sure it is. Uh, okay. Pretty sure oh. that's a misclick, but, you know. I mean, if I had to guess, though, I don't know that... Mineski would be ready to make any big moves. Okay. It's actually going to be Fnatic that's moving in. They're grouping up right now. Are they going to look to do anything? Back up. They need to defend against the Venno, who is uh, beginning to build a base next to the tier 2. Also, by the way, I want to ask you about the uh, Death Prophet's Link Dagger, because judging on how this game's going, if you ask me what item a bet would have went for, I would have never said blink, right? I would have said, oh, he needs to tank up, he needs to go pipe BKB for his team, but he was able to blink right onto the Marana, silence him in the last fight, and just force a very attack. quick kill. Do you, you kind of like that choice? Is under attack. I kind of... I, I'm i not sure if I like it, but I understand why he did it. Okay. Uh, I think he sees Dyer's that MV is not exactly ready to fight, and this is a little bit of that DC Abed in him, where he feels the, the pressure to make something happen in this game. He has to be a playmaker in some way or another. Yeah. So he gets that, gets the dagger to sort of be able to silence and keep hero and then start spear draining. Yeah. He also puts a ton of the focus on himself, which allows his backline to do much more. I, I think when you're Disruptor and you're Undying, for the most part, you stay in the backline and cast the spells, they become much more effective in the team fight. Mineski. Looking for a fight right now, camped up on the right side of the map. Comes up Moonlight Shadow. Detection has been relatively sparse uh, on the side of Fnatic, but they currently do have dust available. Look at these deep ports that Mineski is able to drop. You know, I think in an actual 5 on 5 right now, if Fnatic has all their 
ultimates up. I don't actually think it goes that poorly for them. If you look at the way they've itemized right now, Abed is very tanky. He has the BKB in the hood. Uh, Ohio has finished that pipe. So a lot of the damage coming out of Mineski will be mitigated. Oh, they have a hood and a completed pipe. Yeah. Okay. I mean, assuming they get their items off, which may or may not happen depending on how the changes happen. But I think you're right. If, if Fnatic could press their buttons, they are going to be... That is generally what you want to do. You want to you <laughs> press, press button. your buttons. I mean, we've been playing some games where... Uh, where people don't press buttons? I mean, that, that happens or, in every pub, right? Or you were pressing the buttons, but the, the spells weren't, weren't going to the right places, so you know. And MB has queued up that BKB. <laughs> <laughs> He's almost there. I like how you just gloss over that point, yeah. But BKB... You know, I think BKB is going to tie them over in terms of... Uh, it's going to help a lot, but he does need another item. They're going to smoke up right now. They will see Mushi. Mushi has Blink and Yules. They could Chrono right for that, but I don't know if he's gonna command the Chrono. We'll see. No, he will definitely command the Chrono. And they're gonna port in right now to defend. 60 seconds for the Veno, no buyback whatsoever. Are they gonna try to push off of this? I think that was an okay Chrono, just because... Like, if you look at the way Mineski has been playing, like, they've had the advantage, but they haven't been pushing it. You're, you're, you're right, the big boss is not... Dude. He's not pressing his advantage. That makes no sense, right, in, in the animes. You always Radiant wonder, why isn't the overpower boss attack. coming? I mean, I think in this case, it's a little bit of fear. Okay. Just because the chrono has always been up, the exorcism, I guess, to Mineski's knowledge, has always been up, and they don't feel comfortable taking that fight just yet. And this is Mineski, for the most part of the game, holding a, a like, 5k plus advantage, Down. right? Perfect. Almost hitting a 9k. Almost 10k, yeah. yeah. But I think one of the truest thing about Dota 2, or Dota in general, is that even if you're behind, if you have a superior teamfight lineup, which Fnatic does, you could just easily erase that deficit if you land, you know, a 3 minute game. So, so here's the question then, because I think clearly this game is going to go late in some form or another. Yeah. Who has a better late game line? I think it's hard to argue against Chronosphere. I mean, Mirana is pretty scary as well, but there is no save whatsoever, right? On the side of Mineski. Right, so, right. so it comes down to Envy. If Envy lands good Chrono, I, I just don't see them losing. That's fair. I, I, I think I have to agree. Yeah. They're, like, whoever's getting Chronosphere is most likely going to die. Yeah. I mean, they do technically have some save. Attack. Like, they could get off a very good Avalanche. Stun the void and you got some uh so lich armor. <laughs> yeah, you got lich armor. Yeah, I, I don't know if uh that will be too useful. I actually think that the the crux of the issue for Rumineski right now is still a bed. Like even if you land a good chrono, a bed is still all of the damage. So if you could somehow shut him down, kill him before any of the spells come out. But that's tough. He's got a hood BKB and a blink. He's very tanky. Fight, but he's found under a sentry ward. They could glimpse them right back if they want to, and he will. On the back line, though, it looks like they found Ohio. self duels here from the Venom Spear. Chrono Spear only on one, and that's not the Chrono we're looking for. Chain Frost splitting up Fnatic for now. Doomstone's gonna get squared. That Chain Frost still bouncing left and right. It's gonna go right back on Envy, but I bet hitting big, hitting hard right now. BKB activated. He's dealing so much damage. They will trade Envy's life for Ice Ice Ice. BKB finally runs up. I bet taking a ton of that damage, but he will take down Marana as well. It seems like Mineski will lose this team fight. Only the supports are still alive. Pylida going for the chase. He takes down the Lich. At the end of the day, it is a four versus three. But I think Fnatic's core died a little bit later compared to the Mineski core, right? So Ohio got picked off early in the back um, as Mushi was getting gone on. Yeah. The huge issue again is that Mushi just was, wasn't was able to get off his Nova, yeah. wasn't able to get off his spells. So I, it was a good Chrono Sphere in that respect, but... He was Static Stormed. He wasn't getting off his Chrono regard or his Nova regardless. Right, and there's a, there a really key moment where um, Ice 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 actually got blocked in the trees by a Venno Ward and a Tombstone Zombie. <laughs> really? <laughs> so the collision size does matter. Oh. 
Mushi. I, I can't really blame Mushi for getting caught out like that because as the vendor, you kind of have to play those kind of forward positions. Wait. At the same time, you got a blink dagger for a reason, right? Right. We're gonna see that team fight one more time here. We're gonna see the glimpse back. Static Storm's right on top. So I don't think the Chrono was. So you see that Venom Ward? Yeah. He's blocked. Oh, shoot. <laughs> he's <laughs> blocked. <laughs> it. Uh, I guess Tree Grab was also on cooldown because he could have cut that tree uh, if he did have Tree Grab. But whatever the case is, losing your tiny CPS output for a couple seconds was uh, quite critical. The rest of the team fight does happen. Right now we have the teams posturing around Roshan as the SPG has it uh, almost dead. Take it. Yeah, Aegis and Cheese is going to be pretty big, especially if you're fighting against the Chronos here. On the right side, Mushi's going to find one, and they will find the Undying. Undying drops a Tombstone upon death. They will farm that up as well. For the 200 gold. Yeah, in those situations, I think Pilot Eye, you just gotta get out. Um, they didn't have Exorcism up. Fnatic showed clearly that they were in no position to take that fight. Oh, Envy. Good. He's seen by Bloom right now. I think it's okay. Envy goes in this. If he spots the Courier, I don't think he has vision of the Courier, but snipe that very easy. We have Aegis on the Marana, Cheese on Tiny. And Mushi is almost finished with that Agnes. I think what Nesky really wants to do right now is try and find a. Oh! V? They don't have detection for him. He is in this up right now. And V's been farming the enemy jungle for a long time now. Yeah, he has to take he has to take that dangerous farm. He's got the shadow blade. He's got a, a way to get out. And he's got the BKB now. So I feel like survivability department. And has got all the boxes checked. And now he just needs one more damage item. And I think Fnatic is essentially back in this game, but. Will they get that time? Maneski looking for a smoke game. Pilot Die will tank this one again for the team. He has a mech. We'll, we'll make them spend a couple more reckless. Tombstone will get dropped down. In fact, he dropped double Tombstone. Pilot Die reinvents the feed. <laughs> it's 400 extra gold to Maneski. But this is going to be a Maneski high ground push. No, no Pilot Die for 50 seconds. I think they do need every bit of... Uh, every, every bit of help they can get. Yeah. yeah. They are 10k... Gold behind. Envy needs to port back right now. He also doesn't have mana. He needs to get mana in the fountain. Is that coming back? Are they just gonna give up the racks? Well, they do glyph it. Okay. Blinks back here on our SI side. Venom blinks in huge ultimate on everybody. And that's a lost fire ready for Fnatic Ohio, allowing his teammate to TP out. No, BJ can't even complete the TP. BJ is already dead. Just for the poison. Any deny attempt? No deny attempt. Raxus will go down. And now Envy coming in on the back line. He shadow play up, but he's walking right into sentry vision. I don't think this is gonna work out. They blink, they use, they can silence him up. Arrow's gonna be there. He pops the BKB. That's a one-man bubble. I'm not sure that's gonna be enough. They drop the tombstone on the right side. Can they even kill the Venno? Venno is still very, very tanky. He will die, but that's a Venno that already dropped the ult, so they don't really care. It's gonna be Ohio on the right side getting clubbed on by Ice Ice Ice. On the left, Envy's still on the run here. He's silenced up, he's slowed down. He will jump away a bed now back in the fight, but he is getting brought down by the tiny, tiny. He's seen so much damage at best. Somehow he's to survive. He's being brought low very quickly. A bed now does die as well. Highlight that next to drop. He will spawn a tombstone on death, but that is going to be it. The back is broken. The base is crumbling. And the anime dream is dead. Nesky will take down Fnatic off of just one big team fight. Yeah, it, it seemed like such a, a disconnect between what Fnatic's game plan, high ground defense really was there. You had, they get preemptively jumped on, Envy wasn't ready to fight. I don't think he actually wanted to take that fight. I no. think he wanted his team to buy as much time as possible for the... For Maybe the, even give up the racks. Like, I, I just don't think that taking the fight was ever a game winning plan. Yeah, I think they... He wanted to buy time for the... For Pilot Eye to come back up and try and take an actual 5v5 fight.
Well, Mushi did die a lot, but I, I think as soon as he linked it to that last Nova, they just won that fight. Yeah. Because all the previous fights we were mentioning, oh, Mushi couldn't get off Nova. Mushi couldn't get off Nova. As soon as he does, the fight is just... That's about it. I well, there were two behind in the beginning, and we didn't have the the damage items necessary to kill anybody in Chrono, and... So you think it was the lanes? Ultimately, that put them down? I think it was that, that definitely contributed to it. I think the fact that the Void couldn't farm up against the Lich Tiny yep. it's just is GG. Yeah, Tiny had way more farm than the Void in the lane, but that's going to be game one. Mineski looking pretty good here, reigning supreme.